after my beginner's guide to charging, uh, oof, what the heck? There be ghosts about. My flashlight is turning on and off by itself. That's my thousand loom <laughs> flashlight. Uh, for some reason, we're flickering tonight. I guess I'll just have to turn that off. So anyways, back to what I was talking about. In my beginner's guide to charging video, I had spoken about an adapter that I had made that I did not... Ooh, excuse me. A little too much soda tonight. Wow. Uh, adapter that I had made they can come in really handy when traveling. Now, this is it. Uh, basically, the Tesla UMC does not care if you're plugging into 120 volts or 240 volts. Doesn't care. Doesn't matter what adapter you have on the car. You could even have the NEMA 1450 plugged in and have that plugged into a 120 outlet uh, although it will limit your charging speed down to about 20 to 24 amps depending on uh, how old the car and the UMC is. Uh, the UMC's of course have gone through a few revisions and changes. Uh, the maximum charge speed on 100, uh, 120 volts is either going to be 20 or 24 amps with the Model S. How Ever, um, uh, like I said, doesn't care which of those two voltages, if you're in the U.S., or North America, I should say. Uh, for those of you in Europe, uh, I'm sorry, you're on your own with this, that one. Um, I have no familiarity whatsoever with European charging standards, except that Tesla has these awesome things called superchargers that work marvelous. So, basically... You're traveling along, you're at a hotel, or you stopped out in the middle of nowhere somewhere, and uh, uh, you need to juice up overnight, or at least get something back overnight. Well, 120 volt outlets just don't cut it. For emergency, to get a bit back and get you a few extra miles to a faster station, yeah. But in general, it's nothing. Uh-uh. So what we have here, since the car, or the UMC in the car, don't care in the voltage, you can use your 15 or 20 amp 120 volt connect, uh, adapters to charge the car off of a 240 volt outlet. Where would you find these 240 volt outlets, you may ask? Commonly used for hotel room air conditioners and heaters. Basically, 20 amp 240 volt plug, so you can plug it into the outlet, and on the other side you have a NEMA 520 plug, so that way you can plug your UMC plug into it. Now, technically, are you supposed to do that? No. But here's the reason why it's okay. Almost every one of those uh, 240 volt plugs for air conditioners and heaters and hotel rooms are going to be 20 amp. So, you have a 20 amp style plug. What do we have on this side? A 20 amp style 120 volt plug. Doesn't matter if it's 240 volts or 120 volts. 20 amp is 20 amp. Only the higher voltage, double the voltage, you reduce or increase the uh, power going into the car by you know, you're doubling it. It's that simple. So the Tesla, the adapter you're plugging into, whether it be the 15 or the 20 amp, 
since you can plug the 15 amp into this as well, uh, now the car will automatically learn, limit the current down to whatever adapter you have. So you're not going to be able to exceed the, uh, the amperage of that outlet. So regardless, you're still going to be within the legal sustained draw of amperage out of the power outlet. Yet charging at 240 volts, like I said, uh, decreases that charge time and ha cuts it in half by doubling the power. Uh, now it's still not going to be a lot. The maximum you'll be able to draw out of it if you have the uh, 520 adapter from Tesla, which everybody that has a Model S should have, because it charges 33% faster than the uh, uh, the 620. Yeah, 520. Yeah, 20 amp adapter will charge your car 33, approximately 33% faster than the 15 amp. Uh, once you factor in uh, the 80% sustained load that you're allowed to put on an outlet or a circuit, uh, basically you're going to be able to charge at 16 amps instead of 12 amps. Makes a huge difference. So, uh, basically, I drew a picture. We have the... Uh, 520R, which is the receptacle, and then you have the 620P, P is in plug, R is as in, as in receptacle. Basically, it's almost an identical plug, but as you can see, it's just reversed. Uh, that's how it, uh, you can tell it's still 20 amp, but just reverses the, uh, the prongs. that simple. And this little bugger can reduce your charge time. So if you're flat dead, 120 volt outlet at 15 uh, with a 15 amp adapter, 66 hours. 120 volt outlet with a 20 amp adapter, about 40 hours for a full charge. 240 volts with the 20 amp adapter, 24 hours for a full charge. See how this can get very convenient? You're probably not going to actually get a full, stay long enough to get a full charge. But think about it. The amount of range you'll get, that's. When you're in the middle of nowhere, trust me, I've been, you know, almost 45,000 miles, or 44,000 miles in my car. When you're in the middle of nowhere and you need some juice or power, you'll take every last watt you can get. 